U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo will be visiting India for the third edition of the India-U.S. 2 plus 2 dialogue next week. The meeting will take place in New Delhi from the 26th to the 27th of October. Indian Defense Minister Rajna Singh and Foreign Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar will meet U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Defense Secretary Mark Esper. During this two-day meet, the main focus is expected to be uh, on the countries, will certainly be on China and on how to contain its growing aggression in the region. Mike Pompeo has earlier said that during the upcoming visit, India and the U.S. will discuss how free nations can work together against the threats that are posed by the Chinese Communist Party. Senior official of the U.S. State Department concur with the analysts about the discussions around China, and one such official said, and I quote, certainly I think that the situation on the actual line of control will be or probably will be discussed at some point and we're watching the situation closely. I think both sides have expressed a desire to de-escalate violence. Now, India and China are in the middle of an ongoing military standoff at the Ladakh border. It started in April of this year. The situation worsened in June after 20 Indian soldiers died during clashes with PLA troops in Galwan Valley. Even though the Chinese army has also suffered casualties, China never came out with any official number. Now, along with China, the focus will also be on the basic exchange and cooperation agreement. U.S. officials say that agreements are a work in progress and that they cannot commit to anything right now. If signed, then the agreement will be the final military pact signed to increase interoperability and exchange of information. Three such pacts have already been signed between India and the U.S. over the last two decades. Mike Pompeo will also be visiting Sri Lanka, the Maldives and Indonesia over the next one week in what is being seen as an exercise to build regional consensus over Chinese threat in the Indo-Pacific. Now, This is uh, being seen as the U.S. Secretary of State's uh, first visit to Sri Lanka in this decade and ahead of the visit the United States has warned Sri Lanka against its growing partnership with China. Now the Trump administration has said that the island nation needs to make uh, the difficult but necessary decision to secure its economic independence for the long-term prosperity. Now this statement was not well received by China. The Chinese foreign ministry said that these statements showcase the, the United States uh, Cold War mentality.